I have been married, I have been able to observe the society very closely, see the social dynamics, and uh, as a person who belongs to another society, it's given me an ob uh, opportunity to make observations. On a kijumi desu, jihan aji me present kordu, findings that are research findings. I am so sorry. When we talk about women empowerment, it is a global concern. Habiyajikali women empowerment to Gwajamattara and seminars or habi onikichu or and government policies have been framed. Even if we see the government of India, women are doing our policies are in the different five year plans. But basically, women empowerment and the kyan. Age kardi na general Indian society but global society, women are as oppressed kore thosi. Ohan overcome kore ha same moni log a same level a pani to reach ohan women empowerment basically. So you know it is all in in the Indian society where we had. Sati system, we had uh, so many other things which were against women. All that is uh, led to women empowerment of the present day where we talk about it in academic forum, we have policy makers talking about it, so many things. But Amar Bishnu Prasamaj, women empowerment, Dorkara Singh Nasi, Amijati history, Tampuria, Amiha Pyaja, Widow Burning, Dowry, Devdasi system, Kunedin and Yasi, Bishnu Prasamaj. So, all context there, women empowerment or relevance and behind can you take care of the only thing? Okay. This photo is quite a short amount of photo. So, I have the opportunity to see something such a unique, such a beautiful aspect of society where I saw that the whenever a person goes into the market, that's a temple, and I have to go to the market, they commanded uh, Habiru. Uh, they pay respect by bowing down, and the uh, respect is paid based on age. Ladies, gents, they will be sitting in different sections of the of the room or uh, in in that place, and they are all equally bowed towards, which is something which has huge implications when we talk about empowerment. This is an empowered, a socially empowered society already. Society has jobber empowered us already. And so, empowerment is not relevant to us. This is not the case of the present global context. This social empowerment is used to take the society forward to the level it rightfully demands and to the level it should rightfully reach. So basically, when we look at empowerment, when we talk about empowerment, we are talking about more capacity and our hishabe. I should be able to perform. I should be able to work. That is empowerment in the present day context. Of course, different people are empowerment level and different or. Jawan gangeje leka jay ase tanu level of empowerment and different hoyte te level of empowerment and different hoyte dorkar and different hoyte. So, classification and our dorkar. Empowerment should not lead to disrespect of society. Empowerment should not lead to disrespect of social values and social norms. Social norms are bitarataya. Empowerment for the alley asalhan. So, I have been actively working on the issue of women and higher education, of course, supported by my husband. And we have been, uh, as a woman scientist myself, I have been looking at issues that come in the way for women scientists to perform as per capacity. Nyampa issues as a Hindu habito dangor issue women inherent personality. Hanimra, Shopshaman, last pa, last people, Hanim, Dorpar. All those things really come in the way, and this is not just a, a regional issue or a national issue, it's a global problem. That's why even though women are educated, they have a lot of qualifications, everything, but still they cannot go to that pos position. A lot of times it is because of their own problem that they do not have the personality that is required. Can I put the next slide please?
Now, uh, in the last 10 years, we have observations uh, uh, put to regarding the Krishna Brahmanipuri women. These are some of the things, and I think I think I am right. Natural confidence, I am asset. Naturally confident, something that's very, very important is that they are not easy to subjugate. I'll just place a situation. Suppose we have a unknown person, I have a mother, I have a mother, me immediately, I am so sorry, I am a natural behavior. I think in 90% of the time, when I put a situation in the oil, they are not easy to subjugate. And if, if harnessed properly, can take the society to excellent, to tremendous heights. Leadership is something so natural in the society and really should be worked on and harnessed. Have problem solving ability. Major comfort zone or the problem and I like, Baha, me Auri. Ahamate. Escape now. Auri Baha. Have the capacity to learn different languages. Unfortunately, Nijo State and Naoya, on your state, you have your own areas in different states. But instead of isolating, you have the capacity to move, mingle with different societies, learn the language so wonderfully. Nijo Tharadeki, Tototara, which is very, very wonderful, which which was tremendously wonderful. And inherent, ambitious, Nature, I'm not sure whether they have been harnessed, they have been looked at very, very, very seriously. But these are qualities which, which will take women, men also, but since I'm talking about women at the moment, will take women to very, very high positions, especially in terms of leadership and management. Now, uh, this is one photo, as you, Koyla Shur, Kena, Osilaki. She's the panchayat, I think you must know her. I would take your attention to Radharani. Look at the natural comfort. She is uh, on the dais. She's probably going to be saying something. And I say natural leadership. And this has come because of the respect women have received over the ages. That you, you are there, you know, you belong to that position. And there's nothing that you get so nervous and you know, uncomfortable about. So this is something wonderful and uh, should be appreciated. <laughs> Next, have uh, Napes, but uh, since this is an academic forum, we uh, have noticed for the last 10 years, eh? One. Generally, uh, problems we have identified that uh, professional expectations from women are relatively low. That is my personal observation. Uh, that. Uh, more so, go a doctor or engineer with a William Mandir, but I, I am not too sure whether that kind of determination, not only from the caregivers, but also from the women themselves, that I will have a good career. One, uh, I have not seen so obviously. Right. The next thing is active partic participation of women in the decision making bodies. Uh, I am being very apologetic because I am speaking as a person from another community, making observations. But Jayan more observation that Simon Radha Madhava Seva Mohashava said, in the executive committee, among the executive committee members, I don't know if there are some seats reserved for women. Because uh, society might do on it, uh, women as say who are very uh, making huge contributions, but I don't know whether they are being included into the decision making bodies. I think uh, role models, Evaka Society, Dorkaro said, talking about uh, lack of role models, I was also uh, reading a write up of um, uh, Anjana Simran, did No Adrishti editor. She has also lamented about this, so I feel a little more confident to talk about lack of role models. Me, me, the issue, Kinder Abaka, Mota Dorkaja, I should be able to take a few more ladies, few more girls with me and bring them up to my level. So that is role model, not just my doing well. So society, Ohan Asana Nai Me Abaka Mata Naruri, and lack of mentoring. See, our Indian society, our Vishnu Prasha Mahajan, 
I'm a marriage centric. So accepting that marriage and uh, family plays a huge role in our society. I mean, career and the side of the party. Because ever the marriage and the more important to say. We cannot neglect the marriage component. But at the same time, how can we channelize our career? This is also a, a huge Indian concern, not only Asha Major, but Indian level like Yano said, the Ajikali Khani late marriage or Kitani, child child bearing and child rearing are problematic or career and break up for women. But in the Vishnu uh, Prasha much since the age of marriage is slightly lower, to take career from Karani Shamayana Dibya Prasha and Ahapura Hante, career from Karani and Khani and Kodubulu Kodaki. So the girls have to be thinking very actively about I am going to be losing three or four years of my career in the marriage part. So at that time, what will I do? Is there some short-term course I can do? Is there some research paper I can write if you're in academics? What exactly can I do? So this kind of counseling will probably be required and might be helpful for the girls who are coming up because we have to be attending all your marriages. So I will never, never say that we should not get married, but we just have to work on our career in a proper way. So now the last thing, uh, you'll probably hate me for it, but I sometimes I don't see the sustained professional focus. Yeah, okay, job and pile. Uh, I have got a job. More than more, I'm quite satisfied. You know, Evaka, society, we need people right on top. We need uh, people to improve the visibility of the whole society among other societies in other states. So, Evaka, job and more than more, we get highland nowadays. So women, you have to realize your own strength. It's all within you. And you have to be uh, just aware that you have so much potential. It is only relevant for the Vishnu Brihat Society and that uh, what we to say thank you to the organizers for taking this forward to people from other communities who are not really aware of the teachings of Kukulananda Kiteshwami that this has given an opportunity for people from other communities to really understand his philosophy because we talk about uh, Vivekananda and others but he has said so many things which are relevant even today, even to this moment that is really wonderful and the last slide Thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Sina. Uh, and she has a uh, great set of meaning. ইতিমধ্যে Thank you, Mr. Jesus.